So this video will show you how to download and install the Kyocera KX driver for both Windows 7 and Windows 10. And in this particular computer, we'll be installing it, and this is a Windows 7 computer. The first thing you want to do is create yourself a folder on your desktop and just call it K Kyocera KX driver. And then open up a browser and go to our website, compare business.net. So once that opens up, you will see this site. Okay, you can go to customer support and this will take you right here to this download driver. So just click it here, scroll down a little bit and right here where it says Kyocera driver, click on that. Now the products is all the models that are in there. So you can just select your current model, which in our case is gonna be a 5053 model. So just scroll down, everything's in alphabetical order. And it's CS5053. Go to the technical downloads. And if you want, it's probably better to do this. You can click on drivers and it has everything that you need according to the drivers. In this particular case with the Windows 7, we'll do that one first. It's KX print driver for use in with Windows 7 and server A. So it's basically Windows 7 and below. So you'll click on that. The second one you want to download, you can do it at the same time, is going to be for the Windows 10, which is just going to be this KX print driver. This is version 8. So it's going to be this one. This is for Windows 10. Click on that. And as you see them both here, they're now downloading. So what I like to do is click on show all. It shows them downloading. Minimize this down, because now once these are done, you're going to take these, drop them in here, and now you have them. If you have multiple computers that you're going to be loading this on, you may want to put it on a shared folder on your server. So that way it makes easy access going to every computer and doing it. Or if you're just going to share it off the server and share it out. Once these are done downloading, we're going to drop them in here and then rename them. Okay, now that these two files are done downloading, okay, so we're just going to take this first one, we're going to drag it into the folder. We're going to take this second one, which is our Windows 10, and we're going to drag it into the folder. We're going to double click on this folder. This first one is going, we're going to rename it. So, like I said earlier, we don't get confused. And we're going to call it Windows 7. I'm going to do the same one for this one. Windows 10. So now if you want, you could just minimize this for now. In case we do not have a shared drive, then I advise you to put it on a flash drive to make it easier going from computer to computer. So we will just put that in. Our flash drive should come up right here. And then you can just take this folder and dump it right into the flash drive. And the good thing with this is you not only have it on the computer, but you also have it on a flash drive. And this will allow you to go from computer to computer instead of downloading at every computer. So now here's our two drivers. Being that this is a Windows 7 operating system, we're gonna do this one. So all you have to do is double click on this folder. There's another folder, double click, double click. And this EN folder right here, it has everything you need. Just double click it. Third one from the bottom is a setup application. You can double click on it, or you can right click and just open it up. Now keep in mind, the driver that we're doing here is Windows 7, but to do the Windows 10 is the exact same step. So once the driver is done installing, now you're gonna come to this area. So you're gonna check the first box, and you're gonna uncheck the second box, which is set duplex as default, which that means that everything will come out two-sided all the time. So you wanna uncheck it. Then you hit finish, our test page will come out. And here it comes. So this is our test page right here. 
And we might want to hold on to that because that will come in handy later for the scanning part. Okay, so like I said earlier, this is Windows 7, but when you do Windows 10, it's the exact same process. It may look a little different color because it's just a different, you know, driver, but it's all the same thing. So you do it exactly the same way on Windows 10. And that's how you download and install the Kyocera KX driver. Okay, so this will be the last and final step after installing the Kyocera KX driver. When you have a color machine, you want to make sure that you default it from black from color to black and white. And how you do that is you go into your control panel, go to your devices and printers, and then here's our Kyocera. You just right click, printing preferences, and on the color mode, you just click it on two clicks, takes you to black. If you don't change this, then everything that you print out, even though it's black and white, will click color at the copier and you will, the clicks will go up on the color side. So remember, just click it twice, hit OK. Now you're defaulted on black and white. And that's the final step after installing the driver on a color copier or printer.